Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about can you exercise every day? Let's do it. And obviously the popular answer that every fitness guy is gonna tell you is that no, you can't exercise every day, you need rest days. And they will usually then follow that up with the contradictory statement, but on rest days you have to do cardio. What is cardio? Is that, is that exercise? Well, I think it is. So what? What are we really? What are we really saying here? Really trying to confuse everybody? I think I think really we are, we are trying to confuse everybody. And I have been confused over that for a great portion of my life, shall we say? So the real answer is: well, sometimes you can exercise every day, and sometimes you can't. First, you use some <clears throat> use some common sense. So I was sick um, last week for uh, for a day, basically. And when I'm, when I'm sick, I don't work out on that day and I don't work out the day after. Why? Because bad things are happening in your body and your body does not need to be concerned about working out on those days. It needs to be concerned about fighting whatever crud is going around in your body and making sure it exits your body via whichever method it's gonna exit, via the bathroom or throwing up or whatever, whichever method it's gonna leave your body by. Give, give, give your body a chance to fight this son of a gun and give your body a chance to, to, to make sure this thing exits properly before you start working out again. Because if you start tearing up your muscles, your body's gonna be fighting two battles at once. It's gonna try and rebuild that muscle you're tearing up. And at the same time, it's gonna try and fight this virus off. It's just gonna be a lose-lose situation. And you're gonna be sick for a lot longer. So just, 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 don't go to the gym until you are through with the virus for at least a day. Now, whether that virus lasts a week or a couple of weeks, whatever it takes, it doesn't matter. It's better than fighting the setback and dealing with the setbacks of, you know, being sick at the gym and everything else and getting everyone else sick around you. You don't want to be that to happen, so. And for the, the smaller muscle groups, yes, you can exercise them every day. So a lot of us, do what we call hybrid workout plans. Um, it's a fancy term, but what it really means is we have a we have a fixed workout plan which we do f you know, f three to five days a week, and it's fairly intensive. And that that's actually that's actually you know, written by somebody and published by somebody. And we follow the we follow that you know fixed workout plan, and then we have this this morning and the afternoon workouts which we add to it as well, which makes it a hybrid workout plan. Morning and the afternoon exercises are basically things like you know the arms and the shoulders and the back and the the smaller muscles that need more attention sometimes, shall we say. So then you have these two workouts colliding. Then the important point is what happens when you just don't feel like it? Really get to the root as to why you don't feel like exercising on that particular day. Now you can, like I said, you can exercise multiple times a day. No problem with that. You can also take your rest days whenever you want them. So if you wake up and you just you just don't feel like lifting weights that day for whatever reason, then make it a cardio day and switch those days around. Make that day a rest day. I've done that before. I think everybody in existence has done that before. Why? Because some days it's just not gonna work for you. And maybe you're getting sick, maybe it's something else that's going on. It's just not gonna work for you on those days. And that is perfectly acceptable. Remember, a lot of people say that like, you know, one day is gonna hurt your progress and all this kind of stuff. That's absolute nonsense. One day is not gonna hurt your progress. Five, six, ten days of not working out, me and probably hurt your progress, but not not one day. You can make up for that one day. So make that one day rest day. And when I say rest day, I do not mean sit on the couch, binge on ice cream and watch Netflix all day. That is not a rest day. Rest days are actually quite interesting. Let's talk about those. So absolutely, you should exercise every day and you need to exercise every day, 
but we are talking more concisely we're talking about the type and the form of exercise yes the 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 word rest today is very misleading because you can you can rest one particular muscle group on one particular day you, you're not going to completely do nothing on a rest day that's 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 a god-given truth so you know you can do cardio you're going to do some low intensity stuff like walking a dog or like walking on a treadmill or maybe do some high intensity stuff if you're trying to slim down for the summer like a lot of us are right now you would do some higher intensity stuff like on the um, elliptical or maybe a rower or something like that but that's what's gonna happen on a rest day rest days you may even burn more calories than on the workout days i know it sounds backwards and it sounds weird but that's just the the god's honest truth of the way this system works so in my view i think you absolutely perfectly should exercise every day but i'm not saying use weights every day no i'm saying use weights five days a week and for the other two days yeah the seven days in a week guys for the other two days then just just use cardio and use cardio constructively um especially this time of year if you're trying to trim down for the summer i would say use a lot more of the elliptical maybe the bikes a few other things and that you use those kinds of cardio this time of year because you want to do some higher intensity cardio to burn down the fat when fall comes around falls gonna be here eventually when fall comes around Use the lower intensity cardio, so she's walking the dog, or she's going for a stroll on a treadmill and stuff like that, that she's not gonna burn the fat as much because you don't wanna burn down the muscle. So that's the little, the little kind of the burn cut balancing act that we face every day. And most of us right now, I would say we're in the cut mode because we're cutting down for summer and we'll be in the, uh, we'll be in the bulk mode coming up towards the, uh, the fall there. That's how, kind of how this all works every single year, basically. And adding to that, you'll probably see improvements if you exercise certain muscles, such as the arms, every single day. But I've found if you exercise a smaller muscle group every day, and you exercise it with good form, with, with, with good control, you're actually going to see better improvement if you do that every day. That's what's worked for me, and I hope that one works for you. Also, the other, the other good thing about exercising every day is if you miss a day. If you miss a day and you exercise every day, it is not the some kind of life altering event which has just happened. Because guess what? You're gonna be doing the same exercises tomorrow anyway. So if you miss a day, I'm not saying you should miss a day because if you miss one day, you miss two days, you miss three days, four then four much longer it becomes a whole week of days you've missed no i'm not saying you miss that many days but if you miss one day because you have to do something because you have some commitment or something it's not really going to change the world if you work out every day you can just make that day a rest day throw some cardio in that day is now a rest day and you next day is no workout day it's as simple as that be flexible with your workout schedule so I hope you found this video useful. Click down there, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you.